Iman, good to see you. Barry, Dalvin. What's up, my good people? Oh, man. We got to talk about some stuff, all right? Boy, do we. We got to talk about this millimeter wave thing with these new galaxies, man. I think some people got some misinformation. I don't want anything getting misconstrued. Try to clear the air as best as possible. What's up, Kazi? How you doing, bro? Made it over from the Patreon or from the uh, Periscope side. Yeah, man. Look, a lot of people are about to spend money on these phones, and they need to know what they're getting. So I hope this video helps people. I hope people, you know, get the right information and it clarifies some misunderstandings. Okay, I'm not trying to put anyone down. I'm not trying to single anybody out. All I want to do is try to help people get the right information. I'm going to take you guys through the process of what I did trying to uncover this. Hey, Patrick. Hey, David. Good to see you guys. All right. So, again, I'm not casting asperges on anybody. I respect everyone. But we have to try to get the most information and, more importantly, the most accurate information. All right? Okay. So we're a couple minutes in. That gave some people to come in here. Right now... There's a couple things floating around about the Samsung Galaxy S21. I'm talking about the standard edition, the smaller one, the 6.2-inch model. Last year, the S20, smaller one, the standard edition, had no millimeter wave in it except the Verizon model. The thing about the Verizon model was that it came out later. Because it had to be retrofitted with antennas for millimeter wave. So if I remember correctly, it was either in June or maybe even July when the millimeter wave version of the S20 came out. Again, because they actually had to make the hardware for that phone. Verizon was the only carrier that had millimeter wave antennas in its S20. Not Samsung. Not AT&T, not T-Mobile, not Sprint, nobody. The S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra both had millimeter wave. All carriers, all Samsung models. So Verizon had the exclusivity of the S20, the regular, with millimeter wave. People were fearful that that was going to happen this year. Not the case. Let me prove it to you. Here is what you're looking for. This is the Samsung Galaxy S21 FCC filing. All phones have to go through an FCC testing phase, and then they create documentation on the devices that they test. Every single device has to go through this pace. So what do I want to show you guys? On this document, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit, okay? Oop. You will see that for the regular S21, a FCC 5G millimeter wave report. To be more specific, they even provide the frequencies they tested. 27.5 gigahertz to 40 gigahertz. There are two millimeter wave bands in that range. N260 and N261. Both of those used by all carriers, right? All right, now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to take it one step further. Not only did it show that it was testing those ranges, here are the specific tests. The regular S20 has this, and this proves it.
N261, 28 gigahertz. N260, 37 gigahertz. 38 gigahertz, 39 gigahertz. It's up to 40 megahertz. It's that range. You could see the channel bandwidth they were testing. 50 megahertz and 100 megahertz channels. They even tested two carrier aggregation. MIMO technologies. There's all your specifics. There's the N261 and N260 frequencies and bandwidth. There's your low, mid, and high channels. Testing in those ranges. More data from the N260 and N261 testing. Here's specific testing. Look at, there's your 50 megahertz. There's your 100 megahertz. It's all there. There's the N261. There's your frequencies. This is all FCC. This is public. Millimeter wave chamber. It's specifically identified. Do you guys see what I'm getting at here? This phone was built with a modem that has millimeter wave. The regular S20, excuse me, S21 has millimeter wave N261, N260. This is the FCC listing. It has the hardware. It's right here. There it is. What do you want better than that? Millimeter wave across all S21 models. That's right. There's the setup of the antenna modules. There's your frequency ranges again. Every carrier that carries the S21 has millimeter wave. Every single one. Every single one. Let's take this next level, y'all. Let's take this next level. We're going to the websites. All right. We are going to start at the Verizon Wireless website. Then we are going to go to the AT&T website. And then we are going to go to the T-Mobile website. We're going to check them all out. We're going to see what they put on their websites. So you guys know what to expect when you go to these sites. All right? Just stabilizing this a little bit. All right, so here is the Verizon website. I hope you guys can see it okay. Here is the model number of the phone. I'm going to enlarge it a little bit so you guys can see it. Okay, whoops, too much. All right, so it's SKU number SMG991U, which tells you it's the unlocked universal model. ZIV indicates Verizon. S21 5G, this is the standard variation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. We are looking for 5G ultra wideband compatibility, right? That's what we're looking for. If it says 5G ultra wideband, we know that that has the millimeter wave. Five G speeds, share, watch, and play in a flash. Experience ultra fast speeds and ultra low latency with Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband. There it is, y'all. I just lose it. Right there. Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband. So we confirmed that the Verizon version of the S21, the regular standard model, has 5G ultra wide band. Okay, that's Verizon. Let's go to the AT&T website, okay? We're here at the AT&T website. S21 5G. We're going to scroll down. We're going to look for the 5G compatibility. 
Go to features and specs. You want to try to get to the cellular and 5G. There we have it. It's right there. So what we have, here are the LT bands listed here. 14. Now we don't have the 5G bands listed, but here's what you need to know. 5G plus, check. Regular 5G, that would be the mid band, right? And, that, and then the low band. Okay, so confirmed, 5G plus, check. Verizon, AT&T. I think the fact that it doesn't show band 48 is a mislisting because Verizon, uh, because and T-Mobile does. I know that for a fact. All right, we got one more to test. Verizon confirmed millimeter wave. AT&T confirmed millimeter wave. Samsung confirmed millimeter wave. Okay, this is it. This is the T-Mobile website. This is the last one we need to confirm. This is the third carrier. 4G, LT, and 5G. There are your frequencies. Note where it says 5G right here. N41, N71, N260, N261. Ladies and gentlemen, those two, N260 and N261, are both millimeter wave bands. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, millimeter wave all the way around. So if anybody needs some guidance, you send them over here to the SMT YouTube channel. I showed it to you. We saw the FCC listing. Samsung says that all models have millimeter wave. All carriers show that they have millimeter wave. I don't know where everybody is getting the misinformation from. I don't know what other sources are reporting. That is a binding legal document from the FCC. Those are websites of carriers that are selling phones and doing business through their website. They have to be as accurate as possible. If all three carriers are wrong and the FCC is wrong, we have a problem, right? So confirmed. All three models all have millimeter wave on all carriers. What's up, Nathan? Good to see you, man. Hey, man, I traveled to Smithville, man. <laughs> That's where I did some of my Royal America testing, dude. There you guys have it. Even the smaller version, the standard version of the S21 has millimeter wave. According to all the carriers, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile, according to the FCC documentation, and according to Samsung. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it to all your socials. You know, that you'd be helping someone out. Hopefully they don't think that their S21 doesn't have millimeter wave. It absolutely does. Unless, unless somehow, some way, the carriers bust the U-turn and decide they want to disable millimeter wave. I don't know why. I don't know why, because that's what these phones are for, right? Verizon is ultra wideband. That's their thing. AT&T is touting 5G+. Plus. You know, I, I don't know why they wouldn't do that, so... Anyways, if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it, you know, join the channel community. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT and miss live streams just like this. Hopefully I helped you guys out. Anyways, I'm done for the night. We'll catch you guys soon on the next video. Peace.